Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a Q&A. I thought it would be fun to just sit down and answer some of you guys' questions. I went on Instagram, posted a ask me anything, and uh, yeah, I haven't even looked at these other than Puffin. Puffin texted me and told me, <laughs> I asked you a question, I was like, oh no, oh no. <laughs> so I know what he said, <laughs> but other than that, I don't know what is in this Instagram post. So I'm just gonna dive right in. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you if there's any repeat questions, I might answer them pretty quickly, but please check out my other Q and A's because I am willing to bet that there's going to be multiples just because the other ones that I've done there was multiples of questions that I have answered before. Without further ado, let's get on my Instagram page. I gotta admit, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> what do you guys wanna know? <laughs> the first question is, would you consider doing a video using drugstore makeup products? Absolutely. I think it would be easier for me if you guys told me. I would let you guys pick out my makeup. I feel like I know a little bit about drugstore store. I definitely have some favorite products from the drugstore, but I would like to try some things that are new. But for me, drugstore is a little intimidating because I don't know it that well. I don't know it, like I don't know which brands that I really like for certain products. If you guys would like to see an all drugstore look, I am absolutely open to it. I've done a few on my channel. I've used CoverGirl. I've done just different reviews for different companies but it seems to be that I think my channel is more high end, so people come to my channel for that content. I'm not opposed to it though at all. I love makeup. So if you guys would like to pick out my drugstore makeup that I test out, you guys let me know and I will do that for you. The next question, is Puffin still working out of town? How is your holiday season? Thank goodness he is not out of town anymore. He hasn't been, oh shoot, he went to Puerto Rico a couple times. He went to Florida with the hurricanes and everything that happened. But right now, he skipped actually. There was one that he was going to go on, but I had just had some things happen health-wise. And so he stayed here and I'm so grateful because I kept telling him, just go, just go, I'll be fine. But I'm really glad that he stayed. I really am. It's like, I'm trying to be the supportive wife, but at the same time, I'm like, <laughs> don't go. <laughs> so no, he is home. And I know a lot of you guys know that I've been having, I really don't like saying this word because I feel like it makes it a reality for me. And I know it's my reality. I have an idea of what is causing it, but I, I just don't like talking about it too much. I am having seizures and no, they have not stopped. And no, we are not down to the bottom of it. I'm actually running into a lot of issues with doctors. I let, for instance, um, not today is Monday. Friday, I was calling several different doctors and I have really good, thank you, thank you, thank you, I'm very blessed, I have good insurance. But for whatever reason, a lot of companies are, or a lot of practices, I was told that they were only taking 10 care. I've just gotta find somewhere that is, yeah, that's taking my insurance and also taking new clients. And I know this has a lot to do with what's going on in the world. And I'm just trying really hard to stay positive about it. But I, yeah, I definitely have a lot, a lot of things going on right now. Not to mention <laughs> the fact that I just dropped a 30 pound kettlebell on my foot and I'm in a boot, but hey, I finally can walk in the boot. Today is the first day that I have been able to ditch the crutches, so I am so happy. My underarm, not my armpit, your your uh, crutches should not go up here, the like, right down here. Oh, it's sore in my hands. I'm just, I'm just so glad that those are gone. Ah, restock. Okay, I don't know if you're talking about Tiny Marvels or Kitten. I do know that Kitten is coming soon. It was actually supposed to have been here already. And I held off on telling you guys just in case something happened. And of course, something happened. I will absolutely be the first to jump on. I'll either put a community post. I Maybe I'll come on and just do a really, really quick video and let you guys know. 
Right now it's a back order, but for Tiny Marvels, Kitten is coming really soon. I know for sure that Kitten Liner is coming soon, but I don't have an update for Tiny Marvels, and it makes me sad. I'm not gonna lie, I want a backup of my own, so I will let you guys know though. Are you okay? I heard you say your leg hurt. Bubble wrap, oh my god, that would be so funny to do makeup wrapped in a, wrapped in a, oh my god, oh my goodness, I should, I should do a video in bubble wrap and be like, you know what, I just gotta protect myself because everything happens to me, I don't know why, I must have been a, um, a pretty bad person in my past life. <laughs> I did something to deserve this. I don't know what it is, but I actually have a really fun video planned for you guys. I think it's going to be fun. I'm a little scared because I know my makeup is not going to turn out well. There's no way it is, and I think that's the next video. Don't hold me to it, but there's a video that I'm really excited about. It's going to be funny. Oh, and to answer the part about my leg, am I okay? Yes, I'm okay. I get through everything. You just got to keep a positive attitude, and I know I say that. I definitely have my times where I just burst out crying because I'm frustrated, but I think keeping an overall positive attitude helps. You're gonna have your ups and downs, but just try to stay positive. That's my motto. I need rec high, R-E-C, and then high. I don't know if that means like recommendation. Uh, anywho, I have a question about brushes. Without buying a crap load of sets, I was wondering if you knew any eye brushes that would work well for smaller eyes. I have a smaller lid space. Some of the brushes I currently have are kind of too large for blending shadows. I can't always be precise with blending or I have my shadows go in areas I don't really want them. Any suggestions would be very much appreciated. I did put some of those words backwards. So I'm sorry. I definitely have a few that I would recommend. Let me grab them really quickly. I grabbed a few, maybe a little bit more than a few, but you don't need all of these. I'm just showing you some. I would say the Refer 21, this is actually the MAC 242. All of my brushes are dirty. <laughs> the Refer 21 is great for packing on the lid, no matter what size lid or shape that you have. So I love this for a packing brush. It goes in and out of stock, so make sure that you are keeping up with them. You can get email alerts and all that and I usually get on here and say when that brush comes back in. I also would suggest the refer number three because this is a really great detail brush. You can get right underneath the lash line. You can get right on top of the lash line and then this is a holy grail brush for me. Bristles Beauty's <laughs> Bristle Beauty. <laughs> this brand is one of my favorites. It is the PO6 RF. It is a tiny, tiny packing brush. So if you really have a very small lid space, you can pack on with this brush or pop on the inner corner. You can use the tip for your lower lash line or to put on liner like that. I definitely, if you were gonna buy one set, I would say get the Sonia G Sky set. It includes the mini booster, which is perfect for hooded eyes. It is a tiny blending brush. It also has something similar to the Bristles Beauty one. This is the flat definer. Or we have the number 13 from Refer. Also the number 14 is just a little bit longer than this one. It's this one right here. This is the prototype version. But these are much smaller blending brushes and they're not going to get out of hand. You're not gonna get the color from your crease all the way up to your brow. Those are the ones that I would suggest. I ended up picking up a few that were the same as other ones. So yeah, we'll just go ahead and put those back. How are you really doing and feeling? Love ya. I feel like you're calling me out here. <laughs> I am not gonna lie to you. I'm very good about getting on camera and just being like, la da da, everything's good. Mentally and physically, it's been a struggle, but I'm not gonna complain. I cannot complain, and especially in these times, I consider myself to be extremely lucky. I can go to work at home. Yes, I have issues with my joints, my bones, my everything, but overall I really do consider myself to be very lucky and 
I just, I just can't complain about it. There's definitely times where I just want to sit down and cry, but hey, don't we all? <laughs> Anywho, next question. Top five fragrances for 2021. Ooh, okay, so Oud Mineral is my ride or die. I have to have that in my collection. It's gone. I'm hoping that they bring it back. That's Tom Ford. I love Tom Ford's Bitter Peach, but you definitely have to like Bitter Peach. I also really, this is a new one for me. It is the uh, Creed Green Iris Tweed. Keep in mind that I do prefer more masculine scents. I like things that are a little bit different. I am not overly sweet. Uh, let me think. Oh, those are the ones off the top of my head. And then I end up going back to my other, you know, usuals like Creed, Silver Mountain Water. I love Killian Vodka on the Rocks. There's one from House of Siage I really love and I can't remember the name. I should probably do my top favorite fragrances. But I think as soon as winter is over, I'm going to be wearing Bitter Peach Rose Prick. Rose Prick from Tom Ford. Initially, it kind of has this powdery smell, and then you smell the rose, and it's not overbearing. Well, <laughs> Tom Ford fragrances, when you first put them on, they're overbearing. <laughs> but then they wear very nicely. If you guys would like to see a fragrance video from me, just let me know. After you create an eyeshadow palette, which one will be the next product that you like to create if you have the possibility with which brand? Honestly, I mean, there's so many brands that I would love to work with, but I feel like it's so out of the realm, like it's just not gonna happen. I would work with Natasha Denona in a heartbeat. I know that's not gonna happen. Pat McGrath, it's not gonna happen. Uh, let me think, let me think. Oh, Kaleidos. I would love to work with Kaleidos or Nabla, but honestly, I would love to do another collaboration with Sydney Grace, maybe a fall palette. My first one was more neutral, it had color in it, and I would love to do a more smoky, sultry type of palette. I don't know, I don't have any actual plans. I would also like to do, oh, I wanna create more liners because I love my Christian Audet liners. All right, next one. Did you get the Give Me Glow Cosmetics Vivid Rose Palette and will you review it? I did get it, I did a look with it, and I also updated. So check out my Get Ready With Me as well as my updates because I updated on the palette as well. This melts my heart. How are you and your mom doing? Would you ever do a meetup when the, the uh, world problems, I'm trying not to say the word, <laughs> is over? Doing a meetup absolutely terrifies me. I would have to be with Kelsey. I have no opposition to doing it at all, but I have, I have a lot of anxiety. I don't talk about it. Let me readjust. I feel like, an, yeah, there we go. I don't talk about it a lot, but I have pretty severe anxiety. I feel like that's a YouTube thing. Like we all are on camera instead of being around people. I'm not opposed to it at all, but I would need a friend there with me. And who, I mean, you guys would love to meet Kelsey as well. <sighs> I did not talk about this for a while because I was actually terrified. I was having a really hard time because her cancer actually spread. And when I, oh, I just got chills. Oh my gosh. When I heard that, she had been keeping it from me actually because she was scared that, you know, you know, you just kind of want to protect your children. You want, you don't want them to worry about you, but of course I'm going to worry about my mom. Well, I found out that it had spread and apparently this is pretty normal. It can happen with the type of cancer that she has. So she ended up having a surgery to remove. It was two spots. They removed them and those are clear. She's not clear of cancer. The biggest thing is that she has Addison's disease. So trying to go through chemotherapy and everything, and they're doing the chemo directly into where the cancer is, but she can't have it as often as a normal person. With Addison's disease, once your body goes into stress, you can literally die. You can have an Addisonian crisis and it's very scary. I can't even tell you how many times I have been absolutely terrified by this, but she's doing well. 
I'm glad that she had the surgery and was able to get the other spots removed because that was something that just, uh, just made me so nervous. There's no new news on her brain tumor, but on the good side, I don't think that it has gotten any bigger or anything. They're just kind of watching it. Right now, it's all about trying to get that cancer gone, and it's just going to take longer because of the Addison's disease. All right, so here is some tea. <laughs> Hi, Mel. Why did you remove the video of you trying Wayne and Lisa's concealer technique? I am going to be... 100% honest with you. I have been accused over and over and over and over again of using filters. So I did my, my foundation and it's very light. I'm very pale in comparison to my body and I didn't put on my bronze or anything like that. I actually accidentally put on my powder, which makes everything even more light. So what happened was when I zoomed in, it made it even more, um, what is it, like diffused? And people were saying left and right, left and right. What is the point of doing this video if you're gonna put a filter on it? And that really hurt my feelings. This is one of the biggest reasons why I decided to go out and get a 4K camera because I was tired of it. And if I was going to use filters, why would I then go to 4K? <laughs> where you can see absolutely everything. This has taken such a toll on me and I get it. You know, I know that there are people that you, I, I don't know who does and who doesn't. I think that people have started to get used to better cameras. Whereas when I started, it wasn't that big of a deal. And now it is. And I just really got, it, it, it got to me. I didn't want to, I can literally cry just thinking about all the comments I have gotten. So I said, you know what? This year, it's going to be 4K. I'm getting a new lens. I am going to do everything I possibly can do so you guys can see my skin. <laughs> and I am actually considering redoing that video, but I have to get comfortable with this camera. It's very strange. I don't know if I need another lens that I can zoom in and out. This one is fixed. So I have to move my camera in and out. It's very strange. So if you guys wanna see that again, I would absolutely do it. But honestly, it was just because of all the comments and it hurt my feelings. I am a very sensitive person and it, it sucked. It really did suck. There was no filter at all on that video at all. I, you know, I would swear, but you know, I don't want to offend anybody, I promise that there wasn't, so that is why. Is there anything in your life that you regret doing or not regret doing? I have a philosophy that you shouldn't regret anything in your life because at the time, it was exactly what you wanted. Are there things I did when I was younger that <laughs> would I do now? Absolutely not. I can't think of like a specific thing that I, I'm trying to think. I I don't think there's something specific. No, I can. I can say something. I regret being, when I was in a lot of pain, and I'm not using this as an excuse because you shouldn't act this way, but when I was in a lot of pain, I don't think I was the nicest person. So I regret being angry, and it wasn't anything to do with anybody around me, it was me being in pain, frustrated, feeling like nothing was ever going to change. I was just constantly always going to be in pain and the only time that I could get away from it was here on camera. And I wish that I hadn't been like that. I know that when people are in pain that can tend to happen. That's not who I am. I, I wanna be nice to everybody and I, I don't ever want to go back to that place. So even when I'm in pain now, I really, really, really try to just breathe, lay down. Sometimes I will just lay down and cry. I'm like, just leave me alone. I, I want to, or <laughs> I will curl up in a ball in my closet. I'm just being 100% honest with you. I will call, <laughs> I will crawl in a ball and just cry for 10 minutes and then finish out my day. And that's just human. That is, you know, that's who I am. That's, I feel like a lot of people have to go through that. It is what it is. 
<laughs> the next one isn't a question, it's just a statement. I wish to see you in person. Hey, if you ever do see me, if you're in Tennessee or if I travel, when do I get to travel again? <laughs> if you ever do see me, come say hi and ignore my awkwardness because I can be pretty awkward with my anxiety. I, I always, I'm like, did I say the wrong thing? Did I leave the wrong impression? I get like that, but please, please come and see me. You just gotta tell me that you know who I am first. Otherwise I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> Can you go more into your experience with your knee replacement? I'm up for one and wanted to hear your experience with it, thanks. Make sure, which I think that you have to, if I'm not mistaken, you have to go to a class first. I initially had a partial replacement had a class with that and then afterwards a year later <laughs> I had the full replacement make sure make 100% sure that you are listening to what the doctor says they tell you do not put a pillow under your knee don't do it <laughs> you have to keep your knee straight and then like while you're laying in bed and whatnot if you don't, you're gonna have a really hard time getting your knee to straighten out. Make sure that you're doing your physical therapy. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's not fun. I had a little bit of a harder time because they took out a partial and then put in a full. But the biggest thing is to make sure you're doing your PT. Do not lax with it. Make sure that you are doing it. Afterwards, you're gonna feel so much better. I'm actually, Sadly, I, I'm a rare case. I have dead bone and a lot of things going on. And right now I kind of fear that my knee replacement might be failing. I hope it's not. I hope it's something maybe, I, I hope it's nerve damage. I hope it's just about anything other than my knee replacement failing. I'm having to take all my records to another doctor to get checked out, but I can tell you that while everything was good, it was the best decision I have ever, ever made. I did so many things and for me, it's worth it. Even if, <sighs> heaven forbid, if it is failing, I got to do so many things I never thought I would be able to do in my life. There's this place called the Window Cliffs that I was never allowed to go to. Puffin was like, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. And after I went, I kind of understood why. But there's just so many things I was able to do because of that. And even if it was just a couple of years of me being able to do so, I will forever be grateful for those experiences. Would you ever consider getting into more fashion style videos? I have a question for you guys. So... I used to do them. I did a couple, I think two maybe. Here's the deal. I don't like to come off as flaunty. I don't like to come off as stuck up or any of these things. And especially right now when the world is suffering, that's the last thing I wanna do is to come online and show you guys all my cute outfits that haven't been worn anywhere. <laughs> so I'm having a hard time with deciding whether or not to do it. My taste has definitely gone up a little bit and I do that because I love it, not because I wanna be flashy or a name brand person or this or that. I do it because I truly love it and I just don't want it to come off the wrong way. You know, I've worked very hard for where I am at, you know, working full time and then doing this as well full time. And now I'm finally blessed enough to be able to only do YouTube. I just, I worry that it's gonna come off wrong. So I know that I don't wanna do it right now. Once the world is in a better place, maybe, but it would depend on you guys. It would depend on if you truly wanted to see that or, you know, I would absolutely be up to if you guys had certain brands that you wanted me to do a haul from, I could do that as well. The last thing I want to happen is for people to think that I'm stuck up or in it for the money or anything like that. So that is a very, very, very big concern for me. If you guys would truly like to see it anyway, then I'll do it. I will be so nervous to do it, but I will do it. But I absolutely want to wait until A, you even have anywhere to wear <laughs> the clothing. So just let me know. I am always open to suggestions. 
All right, so the next question, and I'm sorry, I know I'm not gonna be able to get through all of these. It's getting late. I had to wait for my camera to cool down. And uh, yeah, Puffin will be home in 30 minutes. <laughs> all right, the next question is, where do you announce the winners of your giveaways? Never got to know who won your giveaways. I'm not the best about putting them into the video. <laughs> I do sometimes, not all the times. I try, I'm just very, very busy. So what I do is I go to my community page and there you will find every single giveaway winner that has ever been. <laughs> I put them there, that way everybody knows who won what and you know that I'm actually giving the giveaways away. I know that there's several, I shouldn't say several, I know that it has happened before that people have been scammed or led to believe that they are going to win something and they don't. I always send my giveaways out, always 100%. I love giving back to you guys. So if you're ever curious about where to find the winners, check out my community page. What makeup products do you use often that you don't show on camera because they are too old or not popular anymore. I just showed this in another video <laughs> talking about my project pan. I love this powder. It's the MAC CC powder. It's the Prep and Prime CC Loose in Illuminate. It is a lavender powder. And honestly, this is my favorite lavender that I have ever used. I really like the Hyaluronic Hydra Tinted Powder in Rosy Light from by Terry. And now I am panning or emptying <laughs> my one from Fenty. But this little gem right here, I really wish they still made. So yes, I do use that off of camera. Uh, I'm almost out of it too. Did you get hammered with snow today? Yes, <laughs> all of my kids are home. <laughs> First it was two hours late. And then it was like, up, oh, school's canceled. I opened up the window and I was like, what? what is this? I'll insert a picture. This was in the morning. There's definitely more now. A lot of people seem to think that Tennessee does not get snow, but certain areas of Tennessee does. And I happen to live in that area. Am I like Pennsylvania, Chicago, uh, New York? No, but I do get snow, so I hope you guys enjoyed this picture. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't go outside, I didn't do anything because I have a boot, a, a boot. I have a boot on my foot, and I'm not trying to hurt myself. I'm not gonna get in my car or do anything, so uh, yeah. If you weren't a YouTube icon, what would you be doing? I don't think I'm an icon at all. I'm just Mel. You know, when people get excited to meet me, it's very baffling, because I'm just like, it's me, I'm Mel, I'm just another person. I don't think that I am anything other than a person that has a video camera. What I would be doing, it would be interior design. I've mentioned this before, I love, 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 love interior design. I just want to know how you always look fabulous. I promise you I don't. <laughs> how do you keep your skin so smooth for makeup every time? Mm, I don't know if you guys could tell Whenever I was having the issues with the Gucci primer, this side of my face was just, oh my goodness. I was trying so hard to get it to go as smooth as possible. I was spraying so much. I was using Fix Plus, Milk Makeup Spray, all the things trying to get it to smooth out. It's finally starting to get better. <laughs> I try to take really good care of my skin. I've kind of cut back on the Retin-A and I stopped exfoliating, like the chemical, not the chemical, the physical exfoliators. I just try to pamper my skin. And another thing that I have started because of Tara Lynn, I am now wearing the eye patches underneath my eyes in the morning and I've kind of started doing it at night. It's funny because I will actually wear them for like an hour or two and then I, w I wake up to go to the bathroom. Does anybody else wake up eight times in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom or is it just me? I wake up all night long having to go to the bathroom. So I peel them off and it's just so soft. <laughs> so I'm basically, I'm just trying to take better care of my skin, not trying to be too rough with it. 
And yeah, that's about it. I, not right now. My, my forehead, everything's moving. I don't have any Botox <laughs> in my face at all, but I do have a lip filler, just so you guys know. I have answered this question before, but so I'm just gonna quickly run through it. How did you and your hubby meet? Did you have a big wedding? And how many years have you been married? We met on Zeusk. Does anybody remember that with Facebook? I don't even have Facebook anymore, but that's how I met him. He looked terrifying absolutely terrifying in his picture but uh, we met up anyway and um yeah we've been married for 10 years 10 years i can't wait for the next 10. i could not have picked a better partner i absolutely adore him he is my rock and as far as a big wedding nope i got married in a barn and all of my guests <laughs> i know this probably comes as a shock to you guys like what mel you look so fancy. <laughs> I'm not that fancy. <laughs> All of my guests sat on hay barrels. I didn't care. We had hamburgers and hot dogs and it was just down to earth. It was with everybody that we loved. And then we went to Gatlinburg. It was just a very cozy, it was in October. So 1023 is on my hands or on my thumbs, that's our anniversary date. It's some, one of my favorite memories. I have a picture of my wedding dress hanging from the barn and I will never, ever forget that day. There's nothing I would change about it. I didn't want a huge fancy wedding. I just wanted to get married to the love of my life. I know you deal with chronic pain. Do you have any tools or techniques you recommend for others with chronic pain? As mine gets worse, I find myself doing makeup less. I'm stuck in bed and want to pass the time doing makeup, but fatigue and pain often gets in the way. The biggest thing I can tell you is to push through. I can't tell you how many times I just want to sit in bed. When I wake up and I'm hurting, I just want to sit there. And sometimes, I'm, again, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I will sit there and cry. It's like, I don't want to get up and film today. I don't want to do it. But then once I actually get up and do it, I do feel better. It's like it takes my mind off of the pain to sit here and talk about it or to sit here and do an eyeshadow look. It makes it a little bit better. Am I still in pain? Yes. I also have this machine. This is actually how I hurt my foot. <laughs> it's a cooler and then it has a tube and on the end of it, it has like a pad that you would put on whatever part of your body that is hurting. It's an ice pack. Well, that, instead of having an, you know, those gel ice packs that you put in the fridge, this stays cold. It's a cooler and it just runs the water through. That helps so, so much. And then Pilates. Pilates has been a huge game changer for me because they change like when you're doing your workouts, I don't think you realize how mal aligned your body is. And I remember when I first started, they're like, your hip is way over here. This leg's over here, your shoulder, this, da, 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 da. And getting my body into the right positions and starting just that workout, it helps immensely, immensely. And I try to think of it as a mind over matter, just pushing through, because if I stay in the bed, if I don't move, and I'm not saying that I never do that because I absolutely do. There's some days where I just, I can't. I, if just walking hurts. And if I'm to that extent, then I'm gonna give myself a break. But I try not to do it consistently because if I do it consistently, then I will be stuck there. I won't move, I won't do this, and I just get complacent and then I become depressed. So I try to push through, get myself up, and come here. This is my happy place. Starbucks or Dunkin'? <laughs> I've never had Dunkin' Donuts coffee, which is what I'm assuming you're talking about. So Starbucks. <laughs> I would like to know how your health is and if you feel better, if you're okay to talk about it. Again, yeah, I'm okay to talk about it. I still have a lot of unanswered questions. I don't know everything that's going on. We have an idea about why I'm having my seizures, but it's not actually confirmed. Again, it's really hard for me to get into doctors right now. 
I've got so many things I need to get done with my EDS, uh, my knee. <laughs> There's so many things in my foot. Hopefully the foot just heals and I don't have to worry about the tendons and ligaments. I'm hoping that it's just like a sprain, but it's not confirmed quite yet. For whatever reason, insurance companies like to wait to see if it's going to heal and then if it doesn't heal, well, then they're going to let me have an MRI. It's so silly, but my, my foot is purple and green right now. It's real cute. <laughs> Besides that, the seizures, oh, I hate that word. <sighs> I can't say that they're any better. I won't even go grocery shopping because I'm terrified that something is going to happen in the middle of it. I only like to be around people that know me just in case it happens. So I'm just doing my best right now. That's really all I can say. Nothing is fixed, but nothing has gotten worse. And that is the positive, you know, that's the positive light. What is your one skincare product that you can't live without? It would be one of two things, either my La Mer Revitalizing Hydrating Serum or the Tatcha Essence. I think I would say the Tatcha Essence just because I can't find anything like it. Or, uh, I mean, I could find something similar, not as good as the La Mer Hydrating Serum. But yeah, I think it's gonna be the Tatcha Essence. There's just something absolutely so special. Oh no. Oh, I changed my mind. Uh, I don't know if I changed my mind. I like my new lash. <laughs> oh no, but that's not skincare, that's lash growth. So we're gonna stick with the Tatcha Essence. How long does it take to film and then edit a video? You would be surprised. What software and equipment do you use? Advice for anyone who wants to start a channel. My biggest advice is just to do it. I don't. No excuses. My biggest thing is if you want it badly enough, you will do it. There's no reason not to, and you will be so glad that you did because it doesn't matter how much equipment you have, your experience or anything, nothing is ever going to be perfect right away. I'm still learning, I'm still growing, and I've been on here for what, six, seven years? It's been a hot minute. My equipment, I have a ring light, box lights, and then I have a glam core light to light up my background as well as two, um, they're like LED panels, but they don't hit me, they hit just the background. That way I don't have this really dark background. I, I just don't like that. Uh, my camera is a Canon R6 and then I have, oh, it's the lens that Carly Bible uses because I literally used her link to get it. <laughs> and then what else? Oh, when I use this, I'll just have everything fall down. This is my mic. Yeah. I have downloaded Final Cut Pro. Don't know how to use it. <laughs> I have had it for so long. I literally need an entire day to sit down and learn it. it technology is not my thing. I don't understand this stuff. It makes my brain just go. <laughs> so I still use iMovie. <laughs> oh, and how long does it take? All day. All day. <laughs> I have been working on this video. It is now 427. I sat down in my chair at 10 o'clock this morning. And then if I were going to edit this video, this one in particular, I'm not going to, but if I was going to, um, I wouldn't be done until about 10 or 11 at night. So it can take anywhere between eight to 12 hours, at least for me, because with 4K, you have to compress the files. You have to do all these different things. It's quite a bit of work and maybe I just don't know the shortcuts, but that's how long it takes for me. It's a very, very long process. Do you like to go camping? Yes, I love camping. I mean, I love it. And I'm not talking about the RV or, you know, a, I, I wanna be in a tent. I wanna fish, I wanna have a boat. I want, I don't wanna wear makeup. I just wanna swim in a lake. I love, 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 love camping. But apparently I don't know anybody else who does. What is your favorite song that you could listen to on repeat? Currently, yaddy 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 
There you go. <laughs> you have been very honest about your fillers, etc. Would you consider surgery ever? I've only ever had surgery on my tamatas, and uh, that's actually how I found out that I had EDS. I wish I had known before that, and I wish that there was more information about what would happen. Let me go back a second. I don't have any Botox in my face right now. I will as soon as I possibly can. I get 10 units across my forehead, mainly up here so that my brow doesn't do this anymore and then underneath my eye. That confuses a lot of people. That is not for everybody, and a lot of injectors, <laughs> they don't do it. You have to be the right candidate and all of that. So I get it underneath 10, and then 10 across, and I have had filler in my smile lines, but I don't do that anymore. When I found out that filler actually stays, and then you have to get it dissolved, or that it can like weigh down your face or make you look like a pillow face, I stopped. I was like, uh-uh, not doing that anymore. But I do get filler in my lips, and I believe it's Restylane. Let me th I think it's Restylane. No, 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 no. Why am I saying that? It's Volbella. Volbella? Vol I think it's Volbella. <laughs> it's something that's a little bit softer, and I really, really like it. Now, back to the Tatas. I had that done, and I'm telling you, three months they dropped. My skin is so stretchy from EDS that it couldn't handle the weight. I had to go back in and I had Galaflex put in. So it's right underneath. They didn't take out the implants or anything like that. I'm 330 cc. I'm not that big, <laughs> but I love them. Not going to lie. I love them but the Galaflex has lifted them up. I was so not happy. I just couldn't believe it was happening. I was like, what is going on three months in and they look like this. I felt more uncomfortable after that than before I had it done. Oh goodness. So if anybody has any questions about that, if you have EDS or if you're wondering about the Galaflex, it's something that dissolves after a year, I believe. It's already started, like it's almost gone but it builds collagen and then it helps to hold because yeah, I, I am, I'm very stretchy. <laughs> but as far as more surgeries, there's nothing that I'm planning on doing. I try to, I'm not against it at all. I don't want it to come across as I'm against it because I'm not, it's just, I don't have any planned. What kind of music do I listen to? <laughs> Mainly rap, but I listen to pop. I listen to all, Anything but metal with a few exceptions. I'm trying to hurry because my camera is uh, flashing at me. Who cuts your hair here in Middle Tennessee? A, hello, I remember you. I'm seeing your picture and you are such a sweetheart. Every time I met you, you were so kind. So I just want to say hi. I have been cutting my own hair for hmm, three years, maybe a little bit longer, give or take. Now, I actually had an appointment. I usually would go to August Pearl Salon in Nashville, but that didn't work out. And then I got very desperate and I was scared that I was going to mess it up seeing as I'm growing it out. And <laughs> so I just went into, what was it? Like a heads up or a great clip, something like that. And I literally was sitting there and just had them like clip up the sides and just trim anything that was uneven and then bounced. <laughs> so I don't actually have a salon quite yet and I don't think I'm going to be getting my hair cut again anytime soon. I could be wrong, but right now I'm at an even spot and I think I might be able to start really letting it grow. I keep everything kind of slicked down <laughs> so that it's not too fluffy, but I definitely, definitely suggest August Pearl Salon. I go to see Jody. Again, this was a while ago, but she is a really, really great stylist. I know you've talked about tattoos, but have you talked about piercings? <laughs> no, I haven't. Um, we're going to keep this PG and tell you that uh, <laughs> I don't have them anymore, but um, I had a few, as in one, two, three risque ones, I would say. <laughs> But I don't have them anymore. They are gone. I was a little bit of a rebel. What can I say? What can I say? Would you ever do a meet and greet over Zoom with your followers? Absolutely. Somebody teach me how to use Zoom. 
<laughs> I would love to. I have no problem with that. Just ignore my awkwardness on camera. You know, I'm here by myself. I'm telling you guys, I can get super awkward. I thought about doing more lives. Would you guys want to see more lives? I don't know if you guys like them or not. Just let your girl know. I'm trying to hurry up because I know that I don't have much time left. How are you coping with the pandemic as a family? It's hard. Are your kids doing distant learning? If so, how are you guys managing? Just a general overview of your family for the last year. It's been rough. Honestly, in the beginning, it wasn't. And it was almost like I was living in a whole completely different bubble than everybody else because I live in such a small town. It wasn't hitting here like everywhere else. And it's still not the same. I'm telling you where I live, it's not the same. You know, a lot of places are open. We're not dealing with the same things as everybody else. And that kind of makes me feel, not even kind of, it makes me feel bad. I remember seeing some comments about, you know, certain things with myself and then they couldn't do it. And I just, I felt bad. It makes me feel guilty that where I live and I feel like I have this privilege and all these other people are struggling. So it makes me feel bad and it makes me feel even worse. A lot of the times I have guilt over just having YouTube. It's like I'm lucky enough to do this. Outside of that, for a while my kids were in school and then they were out of school. It's been back and forth. They just went back as in <laughs> January 4th. Fourth, that was their first day back. They were out for a while and they weren't coping that well. I mean, they, they cope. They are very, very, very good kids. And I'm not just saying that because they're my kids. They are amazing kids. I could not ask for better kids. The problem is there's four of them and <laughs> they each need like a different room so that it's quiet. And then I'm also trying to film. So it's stressful. It's definitely stressful kids get on each other's nerves and then I have misophonia so the typing I'm just it's manageable and I know that this is just part of reality right now but now they are back in school except for today because of the snow <laughs> you have to have understanding and you just have to breathe that is the way I'm doing when I start to get just like flustered I will go into my room and go I do a breathing exercise and then come back out. I can't complain because I know there's so many people that have it so much worse than me. So much worse. Again, let me reiterate that I am extremely, extremely blessed. And I know that. So everybody who is going through this, you have all of my prayers, my heart, my thoughts, just everything. Just know eventually we will get through this. What animal best represents you? <laughs> What's your perfect pizza or nacho plate? I feel like questions can tell a lot about a person. Definitely a red panda. <laughs> red panda is my spirit animal. Every time I see them just go, like with their little paws up, it just makes me so happy. They are the cutest things in the world to me. They're so playful. It's like they don't have a mean bone in their body. And if they do, don't tell me. I don't want to know. I just see them as these cute, fuzzy, and they play with each other. They need a mate or else they get sad. And I just love them. I love to see them play. I don't care if it's on TV or if they're in person, whatever. Someone once sent me a squishable. Oh, if you're watching this, I love that red panda. Now, as far as nachos and pizza, I want extra cheese. That's all. Just give me cheese. Cheese is my favorite food. I like stuffed crust. I like extra cheese. And on my nachos, I just want cheese. What does that say about me? Other than I'm a mouse. <laughs> Would you ever do a live with Bay? Kelsey, <laughs> I think we would all love it. I have been begging her, so it's not me, it is her. You guys need to go hound her. I have been asking, there's so many ideas. I thought we could play some different games or this or that. <sighs> She's busy. I can't say anything. She's busy and she's trying, you know, to do YouTube and it's hard with this pandemic. I think it's especially hard for her because she's such a social butterfly and I understand that. I miss her so much. I think I've seen her twice since this pandemic and I miss her so much. So if she would do a live with me, I would do it in a heartbeat. So if you guys go hound her for me, 
That way she can't tell you guys no. <laughs> so I would do it. I would do it. Do you have crazy dreams? I love your videos so much. Thank you. That means the world to me. You guys don't know how much it means to me that you watch. And I don't even care if you comment. If you do, that's amazing. Watching me and supporting me means the absolute world. You guys mean everything to me. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you. Okay, I forget the question now. What was the question? Crazy dreams. Yes, I have a reoccurring dream about, <laughs> this is so funny, you know, the gizmos, what, are, yeah, that, the gizmo movie. You know the mean ones? Gremlins, why am I talking about gizmo? Gremlins. I have dreams constantly, ever since I was a kid, about being in this tiny little house, it's like a one bedroom house, as in, it's a kitchen and that's it, there's nothing else. And there's gremlins just coming through the windows, attacking me, and I'm terrified I can't get out. I know that's the weirdest thing, but I have the dream all the time, ever since I was around like 12, 13. I don't know why. I have no idea why. But yeah, I have a lot of crazy dreams, and I wake up, and sometimes I like to write them down so that I can, uh, yeah, remember them. Do you get your tattoos locally? They look too good for around here. I live in Cookville. <laughs> I get them done in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Red Nimbus tattoo. Everybody in there is amazing. I go to Pat Bennett. I've also gone to Lynn's and uh, my husband's gotten tattooed by other ta uh, artists there as well. And you will not be disappointed. The shop is amazing. Are you planning on getting any tattoos soon? If so, what? No, I'm not right now. If I had the opportunity, I would, but I have no idea what I would get. Tatcha or La Mer, if I had to choose, I would choose Tatcha. <laughs> What's your favorite Dr. KBJ? So Dr. Bay, Dr. Kelsey, Brianna Bay. My favorite memory is us meeting because it was like we were both obsessed with each other. <laughs> I was complimenting her, she was complimenting me, and then we started working together. I will never, ever, ever, ever forget that moment. I don't know where I would be without her. She means the world to me. Which tattoo is your favorite and why? I have my kids, all four of them, as I like to call them, tattoo, uh, not tattoo, uh, uh, precious moments zombies. So they're all little kids zombified but like in a precious moments way and they're all interacting with each other that one is my favorite and I had another question that was have you done a tattoo story I have I have done two so if you just look up Mel Thompson or Puffin's wife and tattoo story you'll be able to find it last question and there's definitely a video to go along with this <laughs> it's so funny. All right, how are you coping with the current pandemic? Has it changed anything for you personally, professionally? It's definitely messed with my mental health a lot. Again, I struggle with mental health. I have a lot of issues in that area. Just, uh, I don't wanna get too far into that. But I recently was told about Marco Polo. <laughs> I thought that was a, I'm like, that's a pool game. Marco, Polo, Mark, and you try to find the person. That's where my head goes. I just, you know, eh. and uh, I was introduced to that. And so I've been talking to people and that is my way of finally interacting with people. And I've been talking to some of my favorite people here on YouTube, some of my friends, and it's so nice instead of a text message or a phone call or even FaceTime because you can actually wait and respond later. Later, it gives me some normalcy and I'm gonna leave you with this hilarious video just to let you know what was going on beforehand I was picking on Puffin because he has these pair of golden goose shoes that I got him for Christmas and he wears them everywhere he will go I mean he'll go to the gas station or he'll go somewhere he's not even gonna get out of his car and he's still gonna wear these shoes. So I was picking on him about this in the beginning of the video and I was talking to Teresa is dead. She's my new bestie. No, Kelsey, don't worry. I still, you're still my number one. <laughs> but she is everything to me. I love her so much and I was talking to her. He came in and so the whole shoe thing, that is where that came from. But after that, he broke my nail 
I might have said a few curse words, so if you don't want to hear those, don't watch this video. However, it is very funny, and I'm going to leave you with that video. I hope it makes you guys laugh. It hurt, <laughs> but it's funny. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. Here is the video. Or One leg, come on. One leg. One leg. Oh, <laughs> I see just a little bit, just a tiny little bit of leopard print. Oh, we got silver. Oh, oh, star. Oh, my, oh, oh, that's some serious sauce for going to pick up Cadence. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys got a kick out of the video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you all in my next video.